hard work, much of which was done inside the walls of Lebanon's prisons. Sarah's Bag, a boutique design company that produces handbags, purses, and other accessories, was started by Sarah Beydoun in 2000. While in graduate school writing her thesis on female prostitution and female prisoners, she met many women who had completed their jail terms and were looking to rehabilitate themselves. It would be a very good way to reintegrate them into society since they'd come to our workshop, take the work from the workshop, and then work in their villages. They would bring in money to the whole, uh, the whole cluster, yeah, to their community. After the first five bags were completed, Beydoun got a stand in downtown Beirut and began selling them. Immediately, she was getting special orders, and her team of 10 craftswomen rapidly expanded to 40. The bags, which sell for between $50 and $650, have become a trend and are carried by celebrities and royalty alike. All of the bags are handmade by women like Juliana Sror. She began working for Beydoun while in Babda prison 10 years ago for charges related to unpaid debts. Uh, First of all, my parents' point of view changed because I'm working and depending on myself. And society's point of view also changed. They saw me as a strong person not needing anyone's help. Not only does the company help bring women back into the workforce, Beydoun says they strive to revive traditional Middle Eastern handiwork, like beading and crocheting. People from around the world have taken inspiration from the company and set up similar organizations in their own countries. By buying a bag from us, the fact that, uh, that it's done by women in prison sort of compensates them. You feel it's okay, you're helping somebody else. It's an industry based on social conscious. And whenever you say, I'm carrying Sarah's bag, it's like you're carrying also a message and a story with you. That message has translated into the sale of over a thousand bags as customers flock from all over the Arab world to scoop up one of the unique designs. Paige Kalik, for now Lebanon.